Hey everyone, welcome to Pipes, Tobacco, and Whiskey. So I hope you enjoyed our video last week of the virtual tours we gave you of the Country Squire in Jackson, Mississippi, and the Briary in Birmingham, Alabama. So to continue with our brick and mortar tour, uh, I wanted to share with you two more brick and mortars that I visited while I was at my father's 80th birthday. Uh, they live in Wilmington area, North Carolina, and not too far from there is uh, a brick and mortar called Low Country. Low Country happens to be the brick and mortar for smokingpipes.com. So you would expect that that would be a pretty, pretty nice place to hang out. So we took a trip down there and uh, visit it. It's in Little River, North Carolina. Uh, and of course, all of these are owned by the Laodice Company. Um, so as you walk into Low Country, the vibe that I get when I walk in there is just super laid back. You walk in and there's just this huge, spacious area. We visited, on the way here, we visited Country Squire and we visited the Briary in Birmingham. And so this was one of the spots also that I wanted to stop. We're going to go to McCraney's on the way home. The lounge happens to be right in the, uh, in the main room there. There's no... Uh, section that you walk off to to go smoke your pipe or whatever it's right there as you walk in uh, lounge area has televisions and games darts things like that and of course you get to see all of their selection of different tobaccos and stuff that they have there Or I could come by tomorrow and pick it up or something like that. Well, we never see them tomorrow. What uh, I noticed about this particular brick and mortar was they have a huge selection of bulk tobaccos. They have Lane products, they have C&D products, they have McBaron products, uh, just about uh, Sutliff products, just about every bulk tobacco you can think of they have there on hand. They also have a pretty nice selection of tin tobaccos and what they feature mostly, uh, of course, is the C&D products because that's also owned by Laodice uh, Industries. So you see a lot of C&D tins, a lot of uh, Seattle Pipe Club tins, a lot of Briar Works uh, tins, a lot of GL, uh, GLP's tins. They also feature quite a few different pipes as well. And of course, Peterson uh, is owned by Laodice as well. So you see on the wall there, they have a, a display of Peterson pipes. And since Laodice is the American distributor for Savinelli, they also have quite a few Savinelli pipes, including some really, really nice pieces of artisan pipes and uh, autograph pipes. What's really cool about um, Low Country is that since they're a branch of smokingpipes.com and actually the smokingpipes.com warehouse is only like four miles away from 
from Low Country, if you know that you've seen something online and you want it, they can pick up the phone, call Laudisi, and they'll have it over to their store, their brick and mortar, that afternoon. So I was interested in a new product that uh, Eric Stokeby put out, which is their fourth generation line. They had a new pipe backpack that I was wanting to look at and a, a four pipe carrier as well. So I asked them if they wouldn't mind uh, having that come over to the store so I could take a look at it, actually hold it in my hands. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful backpack. Uh, there's uh, plenty of room in there for your pipes and your accessories and eight to 10 jars of mason jars of tobacco. It's also got a little pocket that you can slide your um, iPad or your laptop in there as well. Uh, it's really, really nice. And the pipe holder is gorgeous as well. Here's a picture of them. So I ended up dropping a, 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 a little bit of money there at Low Country for those products. Another cool thing about Low Country was that uh, they have a, a bin there that is filled with uh, products that they would not otherwise be able to ship to people, like scratch and dent tins and things like that. And they had a pretty good selection of stuff there. And I found two boxes uh, one pound each of the HH Latakia Flake, which I enjoy quite a bit. So I uh, ended up getting those two as well, putting them in my cellar. Uh, the price on them was incredible. I mean, what you would normally spend on them, this was 45% off, almost fit, almost half price. So uh, I went ahead and bought those. I, I bought a pound of that McBaron HH Flake, uh, Latakia Flake, for 36 bucks really really good price plus you don't have to pay for shipping so it's you know it's it's a pretty good deal right there here's a picture of them what I liked about that uh, four pipe carrier as well was that it also has it includes a little pouch inside of it that's also made of leather uh, that you can store tobacco inside to carry with you when you know when you're traveling so a really really nice uh, nice place really open the folks there were great very laid back uh, didn't hound you weren't on top of you the whole time while you were there allowed you your space and gave you time to look around and if you had any questions of course they were there to to help you with anything so on the way home, uh, I decided to take a little detour um, from the path that I would normally take home. And we went about three and a half hours out of our way to go to Charlotte. And of course, many of you know that in Charlotte is the famous McCraney's pipe shop. So we stopped there. You know, especially in that part of the country, McCraney's is a big name. Uh, it's a, uh, an establishment that's been around for quite a long time. Uh, there's, uh, as a matter of fact, there's, there's uh, still a family-owned business and generations of, of uh, those, those uh, family members still work there. Uh, so I'm not quite sure what I expected, but when I pulled up to the place, first of all, it's in the middle of this uh, shopping center, right smack dab in the middle of the parking lot. And it's a huge parking lot, huge shopping center, and we showed up on a Saturday, and it, it was jammed, packed, not the store, but the parking lot. And it was tough to find a, find a, a parking spot, but once we finally did, we uh, kind of ventured into the store. And the store, was not crowded at all. It was a, a really comfortable, uh, very quaint atmosphere. 
it was a lot smaller than I expected as well. Now, of course, in Charlotte, they have two McCraney's. There's another location, so uh, it was a good chance a lot of people uh, frequent that one as well. But while I was there, uh, it was just a really nice, comfortable atmosphere. I walked around. They have a, a really good selection of pipes, both new and estate pipes. They had one uh, Sir Jacopo there that was just enormous. I mean, this picture doesn't do it justice that you're fixing to see. I could fit the entire pipe bowl in the palm of my hand is how big it was. It was huge, but it was gorgeous. Here's a picture of that. They also have a little section with a little bit of pipe history as well. And so, uh, you know, there, there's quite a few cool things. There are pictures on the walls of different uh, tobacco paraphernalia, things like that. So it's really a nice little place. Now, McCraney's, although they had a really nice selection of pipes, uh, more known for its, its uh, house blend bulk tobaccos. So while I was there, uh, was checking out a lot of their bulks. Uh, really nice place they don't have a lounge a smoking lounge to speak of basically they have a bar right there at the front of the store and they have a bunch of bar stools right there and you can kind of sit there at the bar and uh, shoot the breeze with the guys and sample different tobaccos and smoke it right there it's really a, a really nice uh, cozy atmosphere uh, the guys there are very knowledgeable. Matter of fact, the guy that took care of me, a youngster that took care of me, was a uh, the grandson of the current owner. So it obviously there's there's some continuity there to to the family business. So lucky enough, while I was there, uh, I got to sample a few different of their house blends, picked up some things for my boys, and I also picked up two different blends for me to try. One of them is called Red Stag, which is basically a matured straight Virginia, uh, Red Virginia. And the other one was a Highland Mixture, which is their, their attempt to copy 
uh, Frog Morton Cellar, and it's delicious. It's really, really good. So you guys that are, are that like Frog Morton Cellar, you might give this one a try and see how it compares to the original. Uh, but it's it's very quality stuff. Uh, also was able to pick up a, uh, an eight ounce bag of some Esoterica, and I found some uh, Germain's uh, Pelican, which is uh, used to be Butera. Uh, Pelican, but now is owned by uh, the name is owned by the Arango Company, uh, but it's still made by Germains. So this entire trip was just really a cool experience for me. I really enjoyed visiting all four of these uh, brick and mortars. Um, if you get a chance, guys, visit these these places. They um, they are worth your time and they're worth the effort of for the trip. Um, and also get online and and check out their products. Um, the the each one has its its own little niche. That's that's really really cool. Uh, Country Squire has their bulk blends that are really really cool. Uh, they also get a hold of some some uh, hard to get tobaccos as well. The Briery, what a great pipe selection the Briery has. Low Country, anything you want from smoking pipes, Low Country can get. And of course, McCraney's their their pipe and uh, bulk tobacco selections are incredible. So um, yeah, just a really good experience. What I would like for you guys to do, if you don't mind. Send me your places that you like to go to. I want to check out some more pipe places, especially, you know, well-known places. I've got a few on my list still that I want to go see, and I'd like to visit some of these other ones that are close by uh, if I get a chance. Uh, so let me know what you have visited that you really like, and also places that you want to go. I'd be interested in, in seeing that list and kind of compiling my own. Um, again, Thank you guys for watching. We really do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this series of virtual tours. Don't forget, make all your piping moments count. We'll see you next week. Have a wonderful week and keep on piping.